Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream that starts at 6.30 every Thursday. Welcome Kendra, welcome Katie. Katie here with that first energy. Um, we tried a new bot to do the pings today in the Discord. It seems like it didn't work. I don't know, maybe it's just going to ping super late and I was being antsy. We'll find out. <laughs> So I'm sorry if everybody gets double pinged. Um, my apologies for that. Of course, there goes the bot. There it goes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, it did double ping. Okay, let me just delete my shame there out of the Discord. Okay, has never happened. I apologize. <laughs> All right, how are you guys doing? Happy Thursday. Um, it's really hot here. The weather's been absolutely insane. Warm, um, raining most days. Ridiculous. But uh, today we had some chicken wings, so that was good. So that's been that's been today for me so far. All right. So, Lunar, Lunar, that's okay. Just stopping by is plenty. You know, you do so much for me. You get you do whatever you want, right? You do whatever you want. I love you no matter what. Okay. So, we have a new meme, guys. We have a new meme because we finished the Pokémon meme last time. So, instead of having an ending stream meme, we're going to have begin a beginning stream meme. And here it is. Okay, here it is. We are going to be doing personality quizzes. So, boom! Here's the first one that we're going to do. All right, here's the first one that we're going to do. I'm noticing this window is like, you really cannot see the chat. I'll have to fix that for next time. Make it so that you guys can see the chat. Actually, let me do this. Oh, I don't know if I have a good way to do it, but let me see. Let me see. We're going to fix on the fly, okay? <laughs> we're going to fix on the fly. Uh, okay, I'm just going to add the starting soon picture, and then we're just going to crop that down, put that behind the chat box there. Okay, I think people can see it now. I think people can see the chat now. All right. Mm, let me make this image a little bit bigger. Yeah, we're, we're doing things on the fly here, because <laughs> I can't be professional. Okay, yes, please collect your factory assigned gender. So this is the new meme. The new meme is we're going to do personality quizzes on you quiz mostly. Um, if you guys would like, I have a new channel point redeem, so you are welcome to suggest quizzes for me. This is the one we're doing today. Everyone is welcome to do it with me. Here you go. You can click that. You can do the quiz with me. I love personality quizzes. Serious ones, silly ones, I don't care. They're all awesome. They're all awesome. So we're going to we're going to find our factory assigned gender, okay? And y'all tell me what you get on this quiz too. So I'm going to answer it and then and y'all tell me what you get as well. Okay, so first question. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? Roll over and go back to sleep, go through all my notifs, immediately run to pee, sit in existential dread for an hour. Ah, thank you for the biddies, the howl lunar. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, sit in existential dread for an hour, then get up and pretend it never happened. Definitely roll over and go back to sleep because I'm I am that bitch that wakes up um, before my alarm. So then I look at my phone, I see that it's like you know 5:30, and I still have 30 more minutes of sleep. And then uh, then I roll over and go back to sleep. So that's definitely my answer there. All right, thank you for stopping by, Lunar. Always love to see you. Okay, what's what thing from TikTok fills you with actual rage? Celebrities using the platform and doing it very badly. I, I don't know. I, that doesn't really fill me with rage. Tramp stamps, definitely rage worthy. If you guys don't know what the tramp stamps are, it was a whole like TikTok and Tumblr meme of these like this fake band um, that was trying to be like Tumblr girls, but they weren't really. It was totally manufactured. Like it was like like a boy band, but it was girls and it was made for Tumblr people. It was freaking weird. Anyway, yes, don't like the tramp stamps. Thirst traps, no, that's fine. I'm I'm into that. The sound that goes, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, y'all know, um, I love annoying noises, so I actually really like that. The Hype House, uh, neutral. Millennial versus Gen Z discourse, definitely rage worthy. Stitch this with blank, I'll go first. No, I like those. Uh, super straight guys. No, not rage inducing, just sad. So really the only ones here that are super rage inducing for me is Millennials versus Gen Z discourse and the Tramp Stamps. Um... I feel like this is kind of like falling out of favor, so we're going to go with the tramp stamps. I, don't, I think pretty much everyone's tired of this and it's starting to go away. All right, are you valid? Of course I'm valid. What? Okay, pick something CoStar has said to bully me. Remember to cite the origin of your ideas so that you don't plagiarize conversation today. Ooh, 
<laughs> um, are you looking for a new toy? Well, <laughs> are you feeling needy? Always. Marie Kondo your life. I'm, you know, a big fan of that. I do that every day. Not, not very bullying towards me. Uh, try to have realistic expectations. I think I do okay with that. Do your laundry fold it immediately? No. I don't fold laundry. I just have a closet. I have a tiny, tiny dresser for like underwear and socks. We don't fold laundry in this house. Uh, don't make rash decisions. Mm, too late. Uh, do push-ups? Never. Okay, this one, definitely. I don't fold laundry. I will never fold laundry. I will always just hang everything up. Boom. Are you honest with your therapist? <laughs> uh, I am strategically honest. I give just enough detail that they don't ask more questions. Oh, I don't do that. Uh, I don't go to therapy. This I'm actually not in therapy right now, so this is the accurate answer. Uh, I try to be, but the words just don't come out sometimes. That's definitely happened to me. Uh, always, how else would they help me? Oh, you know, like I said, I try. Lol, no. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I always try. But okay, I'm not in therapy right now, so I don't go to therapy. I'm holding you at gunpoint. Pick a musical. Oh, no. Okay, our choices are Fun Home, Rent, Six, Heathers, Dear Evan Hansen, High School Musical, Wickledon, Hamilton. I'm a basic bitch, so Rent. Sorry. Some other honorable mentions, however, are Heathers and Six. Um, you know, those are pretty good choices, but we're going with Rent because they're holding a, holding me at gunpoint. There we go. Song lyrics time, bitch. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I don't mind the song lyrics too much, but I'll be honest with y'all, I never read the lyrics. I just read what song it is and the artist and pick based on that. So, Ivy Taylor by Taylor, Taylor Swift. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Come to My Window by Melissa Etheridge. Um, I'm Not Okay, I Promise by My Chemical Romance. Bad Habit by Zylo. Shivering Gold by Tovlo. Oh, I love Tovlo. That's probably what we're going with. Um, Lot of True Crime by Penelope Scott. November Rain, Guns N' Roses. Um, Ilium by The Weather Machine. We're going with Tovlo. Why wasn't Come From Away on the musical list? I don't know, Kendra. Most of my favorite musicals were not on there. That's why I had to go with the basic bitch answer of Rent. Are you mad at me for making you pick song lyrics? No, it's fine. Um... It's annoying, but I'm resigned to the fact that it's on every quiz. <gasps> I actually really enjoy picking song lyrics. Uh, you're lucky I'm still here. Oh, I guess that's if you're really mad. I literally couldn't care less either way. I mean, it's fine. This is probably the closest answer for that. What's your favorite season? Summer, winter, autumn, spring. Definitely a summer girl. You can only read one fanfic trope forever. What do you choose? Oh, shit. Um, this is a problem. I'm just emotional over Come Away Again. It's fine. I understand, Kendra. I'm not sure when this quiz was created, so I don't know. They probably picked, like, whatever they was popular around that time. Um, found Family, Soulmates, Coffee Shop AU, Enemies to Lovers, Fake Relationship, Major Character Death, Porn Without Plot or Hurt, Comfort. Okay, so this is actually kind of a tough, tough choice between Enemies to Lovers and Hurt Comfort, but I feel like if I choose Enemies to Lovers, Hurt Comfort is kind of like it comes with that a lot of times but her comfort doesn't always come with enemies to lovers so um enemies to lovers is my choice there is astrology real yes and i regularly get into fights about it oh i don't do that um i believe in it but i don't care what other people believe probably not but i enjoy the memes absolutely not it fills me with deep boiling rage oh ab no 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 um so yes and no like i don't i don't believe in it as in like i think the stars actually determine what happens to you i think that's kind of silly but i do believe in it as a wonderful useful tool to um help with understanding yourself thinking about what choices you might have in front of you things like that i i view it in the same way that i view all spiritual things not that they are true in a capital t true sense but that they are useful and helpful and having a spiritual life, um, I think is very healthy for most people. So we're going to mark this. That's the closest to what I have my thoughts on that. How are you really? Fine. Why do you ask? Oh, probably that one. <laughs> I live in the dream, baby, live in the dream. Um, I wish I was there, but nah, I'm not. Um, if maybe if, uh, if I didn't have a day job and streaming was my career, I could mark this, but, um, but no, everything I do is a cry for help. Not everything, just some things. Um, having a rough go of it right now, but I'll be okay. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, well, I'm fine. Um, vent about whatever you want. I always skip these, so sorry, guys. Uh, definitely skipping this one. I am Paris Hilton Halloween 2005. How's it be to be a literal legend? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, what did y'all get? Katie and Kendra, did y'all do this with me? Um, I, I want to know what y'all get. <laughs> okay, the other choices are sexy villain. Oh, most people get that, apparently. This dinosaur. 
adult who shops at Hot Topic. Um, Walmart $5 DVD bin, the acute knowledge that other people were here before you, okay, uh, very chill frog, and spray cheese. <laughs> so this was mine, uh, Paris Hilton Halloween 2005. Yeah, I think this is pretty accurate. I mean, out of those choices, I definitely vibe with this one the most. Uh, very chill frog, I wouldn't have been mad at. I think that's probably pretty accurate. The rest of these, I don't know. I don't think they match me. But this, um, this is good. Good answer. Uh, y'all do the quiz too and tell me what you got. And while y'all are doing that, I'm going to get uh, Final Fantasy started. So let's switch back to webcam only for a second. All right, and let's get this game a uh, go in. We can close that. Let's get the sound up. All right. Y'all should be able to hear it now. Let's see. Can you see it? Come on, Twitch. There we go. A load of the game. Wasn't able to do it right now. I'll do it in a little. Okay, that's fine. Belated answers are valid. Belated answers are valid. All right. Resume. Okay, guys. So where we left off, we were doing a bunch of side quests. We got Titus's, um, we got Titus's uh, ultimate weapon, celestial weapon. Yes, I know, Sid. We'll hear him say that a bajillion times. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna head over to this mushroom rock right here. And um, this was one of the places that we unlocked with our special code. And uh, let's see who's in my party, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna head over here. There is an extra special treasure chest in this area. Also some encounters, that's fine too. We'll kill this guy, it's cool. Remember when these guys were really annoying to fight? Watch how quickly I can kill it now. Uh, let's do... Let's steal. Eliza wants to know why your name is Karen. Um, because when I was born... Um, and that I'm your parent somehow. Well, that's probably true. Well, my name is Karen because when I was born... Um, no I came out a girl. And that Karen was the name that my parents had picked out for me. If I was a boy, my name would have been Kevin. Um, and that is because my uh, because my grandmother's name is is very similar, and um, and she was very excited that uh, that she was probably going to get a grandchild that actually looked like her. So I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, for for my grandparents, my my grandmother is uh, is very fair, like I am, and my grandfather is very swarthy. So all of her kids came out. Um, swarthy and uh, and with dark hair, and uh, you know, and and looking looking very uh, very dark. <laughs> so all of her kids, in her opinion, none of them looked like her. Of course, some of them did. They just didn't have the coloring that she had, right? So um, it was uh, it was very it was very exciting for her that my my mom married a pale man, and so. Uh, there was a chance for her to have a pale grandbaby, and I was, and so I was named after her. Kevin, yes. <laughs> yes, Kevin. That was the the um, boy name they had picked out for me, and both of them were inspired from her name. So that's why I'm named Karen. And Kendra, I guess you can be my mom. Like, I'm okay with that. It's fine. All right. So we got Riku's Celestial Weapon now. We still have to get her, um, the other pieces of it to put it all together. Yo, G. Joxmont wants me to present a Song of Fire and Ice RP notes to a meeting. Tell Google to back off. Back off, Google. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and save that. And next, we're going to play some Blitzball. We're going to play some Blitzball. So to get Waka's ultimate weapon and all of that stuff, we have to um, do a bunch of a bunch, a bunch of uh, uh, blitzball games, basically, like a whole freaking bunch. All right, so we're gonna do a tournament to try to get those attack reels in the first place slot. All right, I did not get seated, so I have to play all three games. So we're gonna play. The Albed Sykes first. Y'all know how Blitzball works at this point. You get it. 
you saw me play before. We're gonna play again. We're gonna play three games of Bullets Ball. Let's see. Does Jasu have anything that he knows? No, he doesn't know any techs yet. Okay, we'll try to get him a tech. Yuma! Oh, she's got... Ooh, Grip Gloves. Definitely need to use Grip Gloves since she is our keeper. So it raises the goalkeeper's ball control ability. You want that. Alright. Is there any stuff that they can learn? Oh, he can learn Nap Pass. I guess we'll do that. What can... Waka can learn Nap Pass too. Uh, let's see. Rin. Rin gets a lot of good abilities, uh, but none of them have his. Okay. Nida. Okay, nothing for her. Jasu. Nothing for Jasu. Yuma. Nothing for Yuma. Okay, that's fine. We'll get more later. So we're going to play more Blitzball. So now that we've played a few games and won a few games and kind of leveled up and stuff, you're going to see Blitzball's going to slowly get to be, like, easier and easier. Alright, so I want normal, yeah. Get her! Get her, Waka! He's probably not going to. Yeah, no. Or him? I think that's a dude, actually. Yeah, that's a dude. Get him, Nada! So you said you were you said you were melting, Kendra. It's still really hot there. I know y'all have like had a couple of hot days in a row. It's crazy how early in the year it's gotten really hot. So as a lot of y'all know, I'm originally from um, Alabama, and I feel like where I live now in South Carolina, even though it's farther north, you know, than Alabama, it has basically the same weather now that. I knew growing up in Alabama, and that that was not the case when I first moved to South Carolina. It was definitely colder here, you know? So I think that's interesting how much the weather patterns have changed. She's definitely going to catch it. Oh, she didn't even have to catch it. Why did you even try to shoot it? You Anyway, the AI is really silly sometimes. It'll try to shoot when there's no way of it making in. Like, it's just math, so I don't know why the AI screws up like that. I guess they try to make it not so hard, so it's possible to win if your numbers aren't good. I don't know. I don't know why you passed it that far back. Again, like the AI is silly sometimes in Blitzball. But yeah, the being hot, really, really hot starting in June and it raining every single day, like that was the weather pattern in Alabama when I was a kid, you know? And now that's the weather pattern here, it's crazy. Thumper! I needed to go to Wally World for a grocery store run. Oh, I have the ball, ha! Huh. I didn't even realize that, I got so excited, Thumper was here. I didn't realize I had the ball, uh-oh. <laughs> They're gonna get it back because there's like four of them on me because I wasn't paying attention, oh well. Um, Wally Ward and Grocery Store Run, and now I moved in! <gasps> oh, Thumper, I'm so happy for you! And you're right, a move-in is not complete until you have gone to Wally World. You gotta make that big Wally World run after you um, finish moving in. That's like the way of it. Okay, we're doing manual A, normal, okay. Alright, pass it over to Waka, right next to you, and Waka, take the shot! Take that shot. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button. We want manual A, normal. This is the button I push. All right. Break, shoot, do a venom shot. Yeah, I was talking about like how hot it's it has been, um, starting so early. The cat's currently hiding in the closet. <laughs> Chickity! Your kitty cat's a lesbian, Thumper? <laughs> That's funny. Good for her. 
Good for her. I'm proud of her. She'll come out at some point, though. You know, it's a new environment. Kitty cats are like that. I hate moving. The only people that hate moving more than me are my kitty cats, you know? Get it, Rin? Yeah. Good job, Rin. Good job. You're not just a merchant extraordinaire. You're also a decent blitzballer, and we like that about you. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to make that because his attack is higher. He's going to get it. Yeah, I knew that. Um, she reacts angry to the tomcats outside, but the one female one who came by, she was just interested. Ah, well, there you go. That proves it. So I learned a lot about how kitties um, rear children when we um, had these two cats, right? You know, that we were fostering, basically. And, uh, and they do, like, all the ladies kind of raise all the kittens together. And, uh, and the males, for the most part, don't really live with other cats. They kind of just do their own thing. So um, that, seems, that seems really real to me, what you're saying about your kitty cat's preferences. You know, if they're not in heat, they kind of seem to not be super interested in, uh, in dudes being around. I hate him moving. I hate owning stuff so much. <laughs> and yet I'm about to go buy more stuff. Big mood, big mood. Oh, Thumper, you missed the personality quiz. Somebody, if somebody still has the link, paste that in for, for Thumper so that they can do the quiz because I want to know um, what answer you get. And anyway, your, uh, your answer there just reminded me of uh, something in the quiz. One of the answers was Marie Kondo, your life. Uh, and I, I appreciate that energy. I want to Marie Kondo my life. But then I keep finding myself in need of things. Ew. I wish I would not need things, you know. Okay, well, it's halftime, so I can paste it in there for you now. Let me grab you that link. There you go. All right, Jasu, Jasu did a lot that game. Okay, we're not gonna change that up. We're just gonna try to get the ball at this point. Um, that's the goal, actually get the ball. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, does Jasu have any text yet? Still no. Still no on the text. Okay. I know I still do want grip gloves for her. Okay. That's it for that. Maybe if I can get a hold of the ball for more than five seconds this time, I can actually get, um, some points. Any? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No new techs on the Albed Sykes for us. Such a shame. Okay. Maybe the next team that we play. Yeah, fresh new gender. Get your get your factory assigned gender. Um, I got Paris Hilton Halloween 2005. Basically, she dressed up as a sexy bunny. Oh, hell yeah, I got the ball. All right, Rin, come on, let's go, let's go. All right, yes, break, and then pass it. No, there's no need to do a Venom pass, because I broke. Okay, pass to Titus. All right, Titus, get us some points. Get us some points, my friend. All right, so we're going to do... Oh, only Barrack? Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, well, we're going to break to Barrack then, and then we're going to shoot... Do a normal shot. Don't get it from me, Barrick. Good job, Titus. Good job. It was a little bit risky, but we got it. All right. Nimrook's catch is really high, so I don't really know how we're going to manage this. And I'm not sure what happens in these tournaments if we tie. Adult who shops at Hot Topic. <laughs> There are worse ones. Um, I I don't I don't hate that for you. I think that's uh that's pretty awesome. You know what I'm saying? No, they got a goal. <gasps> Yo, now I have to get a goal. Why did they put me against the Albed Sykes? 
so rude. No break. We're gonna Venom pass. Yes to Waka. Maybe Waka can get the shot. Hell yeah. Poisoned him. They got it. Yeah, big Fs. I need first place to get those attack reels. I don't want to have to do that again. I hate how much Blitzball you have to play to really get, um, Waka stuff, you know? And until we level up a bit, it's gonna be kind of like, you know, a little bit of a struggle. I would think that this game it would start to be a little easier since we played before, but I guess not. Alright. So... I guess we'll have to break to Jutta. I think Jutta's gonna catch it. Oh no! Oh, good job, Titus. Good job. Alright, Nim Nimrook suck. Roll bad. Roll bad. Roll bad, Nimrook. Yes. Got a point. Okay. Tied it up. Oh, Thumper, Thumper finished it. The adult who shops at Hot Topic. Kendra, what did you get when you did it? Have you done it yet? Nap pass. So don't put one of my people to sleep, please. Oh, I forgot to press the button for the tech copy. I was so worried he was going to put Ren to sleep. But it looks like it failed. I don't think he put Ren to sleep unless I missed it. Oh, distracted by Luca. Oh yeah, that's Eliza's movie of choice now, right? Constantly wanting to watch Luca. I guess I'll have to watch it to see if it's any good, you know? I have not watched it yet. Eh! Mm. Anger. Why'd they have to put me against the Sykes first? They're actually decent. This is very annoying. All right. Pass it. No, normal pass. Oh, freaking Christ. Uh, maybe if other stores had fandom merch, I wouldn't need to shop at Hot Topic. I mean, that's a good point, right? You gotta get online or Hot Topic and like sizing is annoying. No, Titus's level is too low to tech copy. Oh, good job, Nida. Good job. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to break and then pass it. The bad guy's voice. Oh, who voices the bad guy? In that movie. Mm. All right, that was a little risky, but we did it. He's not going to make it. Damn it! They won! That's not good. I need those attack reels. see what else we can do. Yeah, see, now it's not on there. But Attack Reels is now... Oh no, Attack Reels is still on there. Okay, we can try again. Let's try again. We really need to get those Attack Reels. Okay. Oh, because it skips us. Oh, I see, I see. 
So I guess we have to just click through when we lose, like this. Okay. Tournament's over. Yeah, we didn't win. I know. I know we didn't. Alright, so we have to do a league game before we can do another tournament game, and then it will, like, re-roll those prizes, which is really freaking annoying. Um. Damn it. Okay. Anyways. Whatever, we tried. We have to play a lot of Blitzball to win. Alright, so now... The final showdown... We're going to go to Bessay. Here we go. All right. So, we have got some monster catching to do here. There's three monsters from the beginning of the game that we got to do catches for. Um, let's see. We're going to put Titus, Riku, and I don't know. Yuna, I guess that's fine. All right. Walmart trip delayed as cat came out of hiding place for some pets. Aww. Kitty kitty. Love a good kitty cat. The kittens were in here, like, playing like crazy um, before the stream started. But, uh, but I ushered them out so they wouldn't rip down the cat ears off the wall like they like to do. Very chill frog. The picture is everything. I like very chill frog. That's a good one. All right, so go ahead and mug that one. All right, what can I steal from these? Oh, the, from the contour, you steal a phoenix down. Okay, I don't really care about that. All right, so I'm gonna try to mark off these as I go, so I know how many I've gotten. So one of each for the dingo and the condor. So we need to get ten. We gotta capture ten of them to finish the Besaid area. So y'all remember last time we went down there and actually saw it was in that save sphere? So now we know. All right, so that's another yeah. Dingo and Condor. All right. We need to get the third one. There's water flans too. So I need to get some of those. The very, the very chill frog picture is everything. You'll have to uh, link it for us, Kendra. Or describe what it looked like. I saw kind of like the small, a small, small version. Um, when I scrolled down, but can't really see exactly what's going on. It looks like a frog statue, basically. Is what I could see. Alright, so I'm gonna save right here because I want to show y'all something. So, here's the deal. There is one of those um, Braska spheres, Jekt spheres, that you can get here in Besaid. However, I actually cannot get it now. The only way to get this smoothly is if after you fight that uh, that like blobby thing in, uh, in Makalania is to backtrack manually all the way to here. If you wait, if you wait until... <laughs> Uh, if you wait until um, you get the airship to come back here more easily, you can't actually go get the sphere because it's actually in the town and we can't get into the town. I'll show y'all what happens if we try to get into the town. I'll be right back. Yeah, we're fleeing because we're going to have to reset our game. Here's what happens if you try to go into the town. What? We're not infidels. You get... You trigger the Dark Valifor fight. And, uh... And Dark Valifor is absolutely gonna destroy me. Watch as he one-shots every single one of my characters. Uh, I just... I'm literally not strong enough to beat him right now. Um, he'll do 999 damage to everybody. 
and I, I'll just I'll just die. So, and when he does energy ray, it'll do nine 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 to everyone and just destroy my whole party. So no matter what, I would wipe as soon as he did energy ray, even if I actually attempted this and tried this. So you I, I, you get a game over. So there is um, a Braska sphere in there, but uh, I cannot get to it right now. So, <laughs> uh, so I guess we'll have to try to figure out how to fight Dark Valifor. Now, I have never fought the Dark Aeons in this game. It's just not something that I've done. Um, in the original version of the game for the PlayStation 2 in the American release, the Dark Aeons didn't even exist. So in the original version of the game that I had, it wasn't even something that I, I could have done. Now I have replayed it, of course, replayed this game several times um, in later iterations where the, the Dark Aeons have existed, but I have never actually fought them. So if we decide to do it on stream will be the first time that I, that I will have done it. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm not 100% sure about it, but, uh, you know, we might do that. Oh, hey, Oreo, what's up? You going to do your sleep spot? He going to his sleep spot, y'all. He loves sleeping right here next to me in this little cat bed that I put here. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. What'd she steal? Did she steal? Oh, good, some fish scales. All right, so that was a dingo and a water flan. All right. So yeah, I never fought the Dark Aeons. Um, they're basically optional bosses that you you don't you don't have to fight, but um, but we might do it because I do want to show you guys all the Braska spheres. So I don't know if we'll do all the Dark Aeons, but um, we'll at least maybe we'll at least do uh, Dark Valifor so that y'all you guys can see that scene. We'll see. But that's a ways off yet because there's other optional bosses. If we if we start fighting optional bosses, there's other ones that we would fight first. Like I'd probably do the monster arena ones first. Um, they're optional bosses as well, uh, but they're significantly easier. <laughs> they're significantly easier than the dark aeons. So I'd probably fight those guys first or some of those guys first, and uh, and then we would move on to the dark aeons. All right, so that was a dingo and a water flan. Oh, I should have mugged instead of stolen. It's okay. He dead now. You like that? Yeah, he captured now, so I hope he liked that. And this is so early in the game, y'all can see, like, I really don't even get any experience that's worth a damn. <laughs> it's literally just come here to do the capture. So we just run back and forth along this, this beautiful waterfall path until we capture ten of each of those guys. Trying to focus and the mother-in-law is nagging me about sorting the toys again. I've sorted these toys so many times. I don't know why you would bother um, sorting the toys when you have a toddler. It doesn't really make sense to me. Sorry. I don't I don't understand. <laughs> uh, maybe like once a week on the weekend so it doesn't get out of hand, but I don't really... Sorry. Sorry, mother-in-law. I don't... Maybe I don't get it, but yeah, I don't... I don't understand. Oh, so you can get rid of them. Oh, do you not have enough space for them anymore? Do you need to, to purge? Do you need to Marie Kondo the toys? Is that what's happening here? Okay, no more whining. <laughs> Only typing. <laughs> Yuna, support fire! Yes, sir. Maybe that's a maybe that's a weekend project for you, Kendra. Let me condo those toys. I know I always feel better after I do some of that. You know, as I was saying to Thumper earlier, I hate that I have stuff and and am regularly buying more stuff. <laughs> it's uh it's a frustrating thing. I wish I did not 
ever do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's, this is a one of each. I think there was a group that I forgot to log. Mm, no steel. Yeah, I didn't think she, I thought she'd miss. <laughs> She's probably gonna miss too. Yeah. There we go. We have all the ones we wanted to keep at our house. Oh. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Kendra. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I hear ya. We'll tell her she's welcome to, uh, to sort the toys if she likes then, you know? Yeah, 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 exactly. So, you know, we she's welcome to do that. If we, she's... Make it. we will definitely make it, guys. I mean, this this battle will definitely make it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I feel like I'm gonna get these dingoes and condors before I finish the water flans. Most likely. I love the scenery in this game. That's one thing that's wonderful about the uh, monster hunting quest. Even though it can be kind of tedious and long, um, you get to revisit all of these beautiful areas. And, uh, and this game is so beautiful, so I love that. Alright. This is a dingo and a condor. I believe in you, Kendra. Excuse me, and I believe in Katie's ability to hold you accountable, too. You guys can do it. You say it is such a pretty island. It's got, like, the white sand beaches, and it's got, like, the, you know, the cliffs that go into the water. It's got both. I love that. It's all tropical and stuff. Alright, so this was another condor like and dingo. So that should be all the dingoes that we need. We still need another condor and a bunch of water plants. So let's try to find them. Probably gonna have to start running from the dingo and condor ones. Make it faster. Yeah. Okay. All right. Told ya. So that was our last dingo, I think. So we're gonna mark him off totally. Luckily, though, if you lose count, the game will tell you. You guys will see when we get the next dingo. The game will tell you when you caught them all. Hold your ground, or your mother-in-law will buy you a piano you never use. But take up space in your living room forever because it's too difficult to move. <laughs> wow! Uh, Katie, uh, are you speaking from personal experience here? <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, that sounds awful. It starts with toys. Oh my word. So that's done. Yeah. Condors are done. Okay, so all we need is the water flans now. Alright, gimme, gimme, gimme some water flans. Come on, game. Spawn them flans. There we go. Yeah, see, Condor Capture Limit Reach, so it tells you whenever you've got enough. If a six-year-old out-of-tune piano, I don't want. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oopsie. After six years, I feel like you could find, like, somebody on, like, Facebook or Craigslist or something 
that would just come take it, you know? That would just like, you know, you could just be like, if free, if you'll come get it out my house. <laughs> you know? I have asked and she laughed. <laughs> Kendra, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm smart enough to know you're going to do what the hell you want. Regardless of what I say. Alright, we need three more water flams, I think. I love this little bridge area, it's so pretty. Bob Barnum's hold me accountable place in the distance. <laughs> Oh, Katie, I like that plan. Whenever you sell the house, piano comes with, we're not removing it. Sorry, it's part of the home. Too easy. If I knew anything about tuning a piano, I feel like having a piano would be fun. But, um, but I really don't know anything about a piano, so I wouldn't have the skills to tune it. Oh, that was rude. Okay, I think I need one more water plan after this. <laughs> Smash it with a hammer. <laughs> Take all the pieces out. Be like, I'm so sorry. You know, I don't I don't know what happened to the piano. It's just like what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Glory the strings would harm us somehow. You know what? I bet you could find on YouTube a tutorial for how to safely destroy a piano. I bet that's a thing that you could do. Um, it just seems like that definitely seems like something that you could you could get to happen. My mom always got me in the face with a couch spring. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> that would hurt. Couch spring to the face. Ouch. Okay, I think this is our last water flan. Oh, okay. I miscounted. We're good to go. How to safely destroy a piano. I mean, there's everything. Everything's on the internet. Um, Bo Burnham taught us. It's um, a little bit of everything all of the time. So, you know, I believe you could find it. Alright, so we captured all those guys. Let me just get to the next screen here. Leave me alone. We already captured enough of you. There's no reason to keep harassing us. I'll be right back. That could slash me. I'd have a cool anime scar. <laughs> yeah, so I mean that's the positive side, right? Okay. So I told you guys we would do some different customizations with the... Oh, this is not organized. Okay, let me organize these first. Um, items. There we go. Now it'll be at the top. All right. Let's go back to customize. So we're going to customize the taming sword. I'm going to put water strike on it. Yes, we got all those fish scales, so we can do that. So Titus is going to get Water Strike. That's going to help us later when we're capturing some of the elementals that aren't quite so easy to kill as the uh, these ones that are early in the game. So otherwise, it's going to get annoying just slashing the elementals over and over. All right. So we're going to go ahead and save. But instead of getting back on the airship, we are actually going to get on the boat. And we're going to take the boat to Kilika. 
There's a ship flying in the sky. I saw it. Honest. All I want to do is join the Crusaders, but they say I'm too young. You are too young. Some mean-looking people were here looking for Yuna. Uh-oh. Good thing they didn't find her. Hey, no one's loafing around here. I'm keeping a lookout for Sin. That's good. We're getting fewer and fewer passengers, maybe due to all the turmoil in the temples. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's go. All right. The reason why we're getting on the boat and not getting back on the um, airship is because there's some fun people to talk to here, and also there's another Braska sphere. So we'll get another um, flashback scene of Braska and Aaron and um, inject. Nice to see you again. You. You really quit the nights? Yeah, I did. Elma was upset with me, but Captain Lucille understood. Now I'm working as a chocobo breeder on this ship. What he I always really, wanted. I really love taking care of chocobos. Being with chocobos all the time, I think I found my calling. I'm and so it's glad all for thanks him. Thanks to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm happy for you. Oh yeah. I found this in one of the chocobo nests the other day. It's no use to me, so I want you to have it. Ah, uh, thanks, Clasco. Uh, I have to go now. It's time for lunch. Hey, I want to talk to you some more. Can't your stomach wait? I meant I have to feed the chocobos. <laughs> they get really upset if they're not fed. Big mood. See ya. Glad Clasco is doing well. It's so nice to see. Did you know that the warrior monks raided Besaid Island? They said they were searching for traitors. Uh-oh. My husband was the best blitzer in the league. Even Bixen of the Luka Goers wouldn't have stood a chance against him. Seems like there was trouble in Bavel. Oh dear, I wonder what's happened. been so nice traveling with my dog. I wish we could go on forever. Ever since Sin attacked us, my shipmate has been terrified of the sea. I can't believe it. I mean, he's lived by the sea since he was a kid. Yeah. There's another little kitty cat. Kitty, kitty, kitty. All right, who's up here? Since the strange shadow swept across the sky, my little pet won't come down anymore. Oh well, that sucks. I thought the sea breeze would help cure Sin's toxin, but no luck so far. I keep seeing Sin attacking us again. Oh. I just can't seem to get Sin out of my head. That's a shame. Hope it's these kids again. <laughs> Alright. Let's actually go watch the sphere. Uh, thank you for the lurk, Kendra. We appreciate all of our lurkers here. The trouble in the temples has got me worried. Yevon's support is the only thing keeping the ship running. These are troubled times, I tell you. What with Yevon all shaken up? There's been turmoil on shore, but it's got nothing to do with us out here. Alright, let's watch this Jekt Sphere. After you get that Aeon from Besaid. Where are we going? Back the way we came. Then we go north from Bavel and climb Mount Gagazet. Beyond it lies... Sanarkand. Sanarkand, huh? It's been in ruins for a thousand years, right? So the legends say, no one knows for sure. It still could be your Sanarkand. Thanks for trying, Oren. <laughs> Oren's so nice right there. I thought if I went with you guys, I might find a way to go back. But it's not that easy. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, Braska. It's not your fault. I should be thinking about fighting Sin now anyway. Xanarkin can wait. But I will find my way back. Okay. Be careful, Jekt. Hey, I'll be alright. You're the one that should be careful. Wouldn't want your little girl to cry. 
She'll be all right. She's strong, like her mother was. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so when you board these ships in this part of the game, to get them to dock, all you do is go down here, and uh, she says, go ahead and rest down below. We'll be there by the time you wake up. And then that's exactly what happens. Oh, I meant to put yes, not yet. Okay, yes. There we go. Now we're in Kilika. The warrior monks aren't here anymore. They return to Bavel. Oh good, we keep just missing them. That's nice. Can I talk to this guy down here? Even if Sin comes back, I ain't budging from this spot. I'm gonna use Sin's tidal wave for a crash training course. Oh my gosh. That sounds a little bit dangerous. Repairs to the village are finally finished, but you can't say the place is back to normal yet. No, I wanted to talk to the running guy. What's he got to say? Come here, sir. Come here. Why won't you talk to me? There we go. The Crusaders have rallied together to protect Kilika. That's nice. You know what's um, really cool when you come back here after you have the airship? If you go down here... Look, there's the airship. That's where it docks when you come to Kilika. I think that's kind of neato. Hey, hey, I ain't slacking off. I'm just building up my strength for the next mission. I'm gonna grow up to be a blitzer, just like my sister. That's cool. Those warrior monks ate everything in sight and then returned to Bavel. Oh no! Um, they basically just ate and ran. What do they take us for? Chumps, obviously. They think you're chumps. Sin is a punishment upon Yevid's people, yet I fear that no amount of atonement will end its ravages. Yeah, you're right. We figured that out. Atonement will never happen. So we have to do something else. I'm gonna be a Blitzball when I grow up. <laughs> I think that's a mistranslation. I think he's supposed to say Blitzballer, but he says he wants to be a Blitzball. You can do it, kid. Someday. The people of Kilika are used to destruction. It's nothing new. We're still cleaning up here. Okay. What you got to say? Sin's been quiet lately, I hear. Probably off somewhere saving all its energy for a big assault. Oh, wow. I don't like the sound of that. Now that we finally rebuilt the village, I'm just praying that Sin doesn't attack again. You can always fix what's broken, but you can't bring back the dead. I have to learn to accept the reality of the situation. Yeah. Sad, but true. Sin's been around for a thousand years and will probably be around for a thousand more. I'm gonna win lots of money playing Blitzball and help rebuild Kilika. Good luck. Oh, there's a chest I think I missed before. Oh, some potions. Okay, yeah, I must have missed that when we were originally in Kilika. Alright, so we're gonna do monster capturing here too. So we can just run around this little area right in front of the save sphere. Um, the other thing that you can do in Kilika is there are lots of good Blitzball players that you might want to recruit. Most of them are signed to the Kilika Beasts at first, so be aware of that. But, um, but uh, you know, you might want to sign some of them once they get released from their contract. Okay, and I don't want Titus right here. Let's bring in Waka, because Titus has that water strike on his weapon, and that's not going to do very much damage. All right. So, Regora, one Regora down. So we get to get... There's four different um, monsters here. There's the Regora, there's Yellow Elements, there's Killer Bees, and there's um, Dianix. So the Dianix is this, this area's little lizard guy. And the killer bees are this area's little wasp guy, yeah. So then there's the yellow element. That's these guys. Alright. Let's steal. And we're just really gonna be doing the same thing here that we did in Besaide with um getting all of these guys. 
And it's still an easy, it's still like a low level area, right? So, it's easy to kill these uh, elementals. And we're going to seal from them so that we can get some electricity on there too. Okay, so that was the yellow element. I kill a bee. I got adult who shops a tot topic. <laughs> hey, you okay, pal? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't like it. Now I'm mad at myself for no reason. Hey, one of the answers was um, $5 Walmart DVD bin. I feel like that's kind of like the insulting answer. Or can of spray cheese. I don't know. Adult that shops at Hot Topic is just like, well, Hot Topic's become a fandom thing, so it's just kind of part and parcel. I would kill for $5 Walmart DVD rack. <laughs> uh, they weren't racks, though. I don't know what your Walmart did, but it, at mine, they were not racks. They were bins, and like you had to dig through the bin, so it was like impossible to find anything, because there'd be like a hundred copies of one thing and then a smattering of everything else. Um, and you literally had to dig if you wanted to find anything. It was ridiculous. Okay. So there's another yellow element, and this is the Dianix right here. It's over. You who has a DVD player anymore? I know, right? I'm good, yeah? I still have a few DVDs, even though I have absolutely nothing to play them in. <laughs> yeah, their bin's entirely unorganized. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they were here when Walmart used to do those. <laughs> Katie, oh my god. Really? You have no problem doing that search? Like, that is such a waste of time. Is it, like, fun for you? Um... Because I, I never did. I always got annoyed when I was with somebody at Walmart and they wanted to stop and um, look in those bins. I was like, freaking why? Can we go now? This is stupid. You're never going to find anything worth a damn anyways. Yeah. And it's like, but it's only $5. And it's like, so? It's still a waste of $5. Granted, this was all before streaming, so I understood like why people might have felt that way. But they were still wrong. Because now you just stream everything. Alright, so we got a Dianix, a Killer Bee, and a Yellow Element. No, I don't want a mug. I want to steal from the Killer Bee. Get him, Yuna. I have a D you have a DVD player still, Katie? Wow! That's actually kind of amazing. I am truly shocked. I did not expect. Uh, you didn't really have to do all that, Riku, but okay. Do you actually watch your DVDs in your DVD player still, Katie? Oh, I don't have a PlayStation anymore, I guess. Well, that's not true. I have a... Well, we have a PS4 or whatever the latest one is. I don't remember. Um, but we don't have, like, an old PlayStation or anything. But I don't think we've ever once put a DVD in that thing. I don't think I've put a DVD in a PlayStation since I had a PS2. Once in a great while... For the good ones that are hard to find or don't stream for free often. I gotcha. I hear what you're saying, Katie. I hear what you're saying. Oopsie. I guess maybe I just don't... There's a lot, not a lot of movies that I re-watch very often. I mean, I'm, I might... I'll, like, re-watch comedies. Um... But otherwise, I don't really rewatch a lot of movies. I don't know. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah. I would smash that wa wasp monster. <laughs> but actually smash. Oh no, poor waspy. Poor waspy. But yeah, uh, I agree. Wasps are gross. 
any kind of um, bee or wasp, really, except for honeybees, I'm not. I'm not about that. Um, they're they're big and their buzzing is really loud, and they have stingers. Um, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. Yeah, like honeybees and and stuff like that is is fine, um, but not wasps or any of those. Um, be like things. You know what I'm saying? They can all fuck right off. Okay, that was a... I think I forgot to mark it. Okay. Get them Electro Marbles. Oh, I thought they had softs. I guess that's the- I guess Petrify Grenade is their real steel. Their rare job. steel, I mean. I did not know that. That would be useful, though. I guess I should be stealing from them. Oh, another one of these groups, okay. I want to steal more of these. Yeah, see, he had a soft. That's more what I was assuming they had. Thunder! Aw, oh, she almost killed it. Go ahead and kill that Waka. Bye bye! Alright! I need some more Regoras to spawn. I've got less of those than anything else. I love how, like, um, bright the music is here. It really does feel like a little forest. Oh, there's a Regora. Wish granted. I don't really want to mug him. Boom. I'm on a roll! <clears throat> Come on, there we go. You know something that's interesting, I think? You don't really see random encounters in video games anymore. It's just not really a thing, you know? It used to be like a huge staple of the, of the genre, you know? And I get like a big reason random encounters existed was because, um... You kind of had to for limitations of the of the consoles and things like that. And it was kind of like, you know, how do we have encounters like you have in tabletop games um, and still stay within what the console can do, right? So then the random encounter was born. But you don't really see them, like, at all anymore. Even though in some of these later consoles, like in, uh, in, like... PlayStation 2 and later, like, you still saw them kind of lingering, right? But, like, they're almost never in games anymore. I feel like... I feel like they're kind of... They were kind of a mechanic born out of necessity. But I think with without random encounters, there is a little bit missing. Because there's something kind of like, um, you know, mysterious about like you don't know when something's going to attack you. Although, I do think there's probably mostly drawbacks. <laughs> there's probably mostly drawbacks, you know. 
Because, like, you can't have puzzles in the same place that you have random encounters, because then it totally interrupts the puzzle. Bye -bye. So you have to be really strategic about where you place your yeah. random encounters. And it can disrupt the flow just in general. So it's probably a good thing that they've fallen out of fashion, but... For me, random encounters are very nostalgic. Because that was the games I grew up on, right? That was the era I grew up on. You know, Super NES and PlayStation 1 and 2 and... Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, like, those were the consoles that I played a lot of when I was younger. And of course, they all of the RPGs for those had random encounters. Aw, oh, man. Riku, you should have been able to hit that. Take that. There we go. Be done now. Piece of cake. If y'all remember that boss that we fought here? That that kind of mini boss that was in the in the middle right here? Uh, if you walk around him when he's presented to you and you end up skipping him. When you come back here later, you can actually fight him and uh, and then you basically just can like boom boom and he's dead. <laughs> but I think it's better to fight him when he pops up so you can get that sweet sweet experience. But you can come back and fight him later if you so choose. Okay, I should just need one more yellow element and one more killer bee, but you need a few more um, Dino Nix and Regoras. No Alright, well there's the last of those. Alright, let's mark these guys off my list. <clears throat> All right. So we just need Dinonix and Regoras now. Let's save so I get some. So I get my MP back. another one of those. I like while I'm doing the monster quests to steal a lot so that I can just stock up on all the different items for, you know, any weapon customizations I might want to do or teaching Aeons any skills that I might want to teach them. You know, it's just like a useful time to do that because you're kind of all farming all at once. Oh, your husband got the $5 bin, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> you did, you married your crush. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> That's funny. Does your husband also like personality quizzes or did you just talk him into doing it? I force him and he complies. <laughs> <laughs> As how um, all good marriages work, right? <laughs> Take that. Piece of cake. All right. I'll be surprised. I'm I'm gonna be surprised if Dino Nix is the last one that I don't quite have enough of in this area. Woohoo! Woohoo is right, Riku. Woohoo! Woo 
Woohoo! They both say woohoo. Two killer bees? Oh my gosh. How annoying. At least there's a Regora in this group. So that's something. I think probably these killer bees are one of the uh, more upsetting looking ones because they look a lot like real wasps, you know? I mean, they're like yellow and like this blue purple, right? But uh, but that's pretty close to the yellow and black of uh, real life wasps. <laughs> so they're, they're quite unsettling, even compared to the other similar wasps that we see in the game. All right, so we need one more Regora, but we need like three more Dynanix. Good thing that chick's weapon becomes a fly swatter in battle. <laughs> yeah! Yuna's does look kind of like a fly swatter when she actually hits them. She usually can't hit them, though. Oh no, we don't need any of these. Let me just make sure that was the actual last Dracora. Yeah, capture limit reached. All right. Come here, Titus. I'll be right back. Sure you will. Oh, someone actually got a sphere level. I can't believe it. All right. Dino Nix, come here. Where are you, Dino Nix? Not Regora's. Dynamix, Dynamix, does whatever Dynamix does. Does he spawn in this area? I know he does because we've already fought a bunch. Come out, come out, Dynamix. Hey, it worked. Bless you, kitty cat. All right, two more. Two more. I'm good, yeah. All right. Come on, Dino Nix. We can do it. I just want to capture you for the arena. It'll be fun, I promise. All right. Good deal. Good deal. I think I just need one more. So I'll probably get one more and then not trust myself and look for one more, one more, one more. <laughs> just to make sure. Hey, kitty kitty. Oh, another thing for you guys that are fans of the Pokemon meme that we finished. I did create a supercut of us doing the Pokemon meme, and um, that will be up on my channel next so the Tuesday. Next so there's since we're doing spare room every other week, that's going to go up in one of the um, like the other the opposite week of spare room. So you guys can see us do the entire uh, Pokemon meme. Can anybody my guess? how long the super cut of that is <laughs> how long all of those segments cut together actually are live and let live. i was shocked personally at how long it was 30 minutes katie my god no it was way longer than that let me go double check right now Make sure I don't lie to you guys, but it's definitely longer than 30 minutes. I'll be right back. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was right. My memory was right. Yeah, it was way longer than 30 minutes to do that whole meme. When you cut all of them together. <clears throat> Ambushed. Rude. I'm just trying to find more Dino Nicks. I'll be right back. No, it was in total, all cut together, almost five hours of footage. It's four hours and fifty minutes. <laughs> well timed wow there, Katie. Well timed wow. Yeah, um, I was so surprised. I was like, holy crap. Pretty amazing. It's okay, you can get down. Oh, okay, well I didn't count some Dino Nicks because I thought that was the last one. But it's actually not. The last one was the last one. No, don't you do it, lady. Don't you do that. Gotta mess with the kitty cat ears again. That's against the rules. You gotta play with an actual kitty cat toy. Alright, so we got them all there. Got all of our monsters for Killika. <clears throat> okay. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to customize Orin's weapon to have lightning strike, so we'll have that element as well. Lightning strike, okay. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and save. And we're gonna play another Blitzball game. So only League is available to us right now, so we're gonna do a League game. So it's gonna be us against the Guado Glories, okay. Let's see. Can we win? Same positions. Yes. Let's see. Did Jasu get any techniques? Nope, he still has no techniques. Okay. Nope, this is what I already want for her. Done. Oh, Wither Pass or Venom Tech? Let's get Wither Pass. Wither Pass for him, too. I guess he can get Grip Gloves. I don't- we're never gonna put him as the goalie, but sure. Excuse you! Excuse you, lady. No. Mm -mm. Okay, the ears gotta come down. The ears gotta come down off the wall. Ladies, too enthralled. Too enthralled with the sparklies. Okay, well I got them right here though if anybody does want other colors. I'm just taking them off the wall. Excuse you, let go. Let go. Let go. We don't do that, okay lady? We don't do that. Such a troublemaker. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. You can get Wither Pass, too. I heard her do it again. I'm gonna have to kick you out, aren't I, lady? Am I gonna have to kick you out? I can't wait till they get bored of curtains. She kept trying to eat the lights. Oh my god. It's tough. Let go. Don't eat the lights. Okay, here you go. Play with your brother. Okay. Now I need to blitzball victory, lady, so don't mess it up for me. We have one that never grows tired of eating mini lights. Oh no, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. All the cats I've ever had have eventually gotten tired of this type of kitten behavior. Um, they get eventually get bored of whatever it is that they're entranced with. Do I want to do any breaking? I don't want to do any breaking. I want to do a jack shot. Let's go. Stop that. I didn't push the button fast enough. 
Lady, don't do it. I can see you thinking about it. Alright. Maybe I won't lose this time. <laughs> uh, after I do this game, it should pop up again to do a tournament. And hopefully attack reels are on there. It's, it's kind of random, so I don't think it will be. I think it'll give me something different. I'm going to have to kick you out, aren't I? I'm going to have to kick you out. Okay. Go, Titus, go. Go, Titus, go. Go. Go, Titus, go. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Yeah. Titus can't pass for shit, but that's what we're gonna do. He's not gonna... Yeah, he's... No, there's no way. <laughs> they are gonna catch it. I knew it. <laughs> that's okay, though. I already got a point. You got a good early lead. Yeah, that's the pile of ears you're obsessed with. They're not that interesting when they're not hanging on the wall, I guess, right? Don't Venom tackle me. I guess I don't remember what button I'm supposed to press for the tech copies. I thought it was Y, but maybe it's X. Alright, let's see. Waka's a lot closer. We're gonna pass to Waka. You wanna sit in the lap? That's okay, lady. You can sit in my lap. It's better than playing with the curtain or eating lights. Mm. He's kind of far back. Let's do a venom shot. Hmm. your one that still eats lights, Katie. Because both of these kittens love eating lights. It is like their freaking favorite thing in the world. Just three, not two old. Oh. They should grow out of it soon. I feel like somewhere around two, three is when cats start being more cats, less kittens, you know? Maybe yours is just being in the kitten stage a lot longer. There we go. Waka learns a new tech. It is the X button. Okay. Good job, Yuma. Yuma's such a good goalie. I think I switched it to mark mode, which I don't want. I want normal. Come, everybody, follow Jasu. Follow Jasu. Okay. Break. They're gonna catch it, but it's okay. We only have 20 seconds left. I'm feeling much more confident this game. I was not, I was not on against the uh, Albed Sykes. They're too good. They're too good. But I got these Guado people. I feel like Yuma Guado is probably the best of any of the Guado um, Blitzball players in the game. She is an awesome goalie. Alright, yes. Keep everything the same. Jasu has two slots, but no actual text. That is so annoying. Don't worry, Jasu. Your day will, your day will come. Alright, is there something else for him? Yeah, nap tackle, sure. Oh, no, nothing for Rin? Okay. Yes, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> we can win this one, guys.
and luckily the way this game works, for the most part, you will level up slightly faster than they will. So it becomes a point where Blitzball is very easy. Mm, Titus. Mm, no break. We'll do a jack shot. Jack shot is so OP. Boom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they can't beat me at this point since I got three points. There's no way they're going to get four points by the end. I did not calculate for how holding the controller would work with this kitty cat in my lap when I put her in there. <laughs> I just thought she might actually stay still if I put her in my lap, which I was right, but <laughs> uh, now I, holding the controller is a little bit awkward. <sighs> yep, she was good lucky. She is good luck. I should have had her in my lap when I um, was playing the Albed Sykes. I guess that was my problem. She was sleeping next to me instead of in my lap, and she should have been in the lap. I really just need to run out the clock. Oh, it didn't tech copy. Then I pushed the button. Oh well. Walk asleep now. <laughs> you sleep right next to the goal. <gasps> Aw. I guess he just... <laughs> Why were you swimming in circles? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Zazie? I guess uh, Waka's just getting to know the goalie, you know, hanging out, taking a nap with him, as you do in the Blitz pool. Oh, well, he didn't put Rin to sleep. Or she? Is that a lady? That's a lady Waka. Mind game, circle technique in the blitz sphere. That's right, Katie. <laughs> I think the AI for this game is just, in certain ways, really, really strange and silly. Good job, Yuma. Can't even get a goal when they're right in her face. That's how awesome Yuma is. Oh, why is she sending it to Waka? He's asleep. Yeah, of course he fumbled. He taken a nap. You wake him up. I don't think he would appreciate that very much. I know I don't appreciate being woken up. Maybe he needed that nap. It did. All the way across the sphere pool. <laughs> Insane. Oh, they actually got one in. I guess they're allowed to have one point. It's okay. They only have one more minute anyway. let Nida have the ball so she can level up a little bit. All right, Nida. Come on. Pass it back to Rin. He's right there.
you can pass the ball back and forth like this to help them get leveled up. So that's kind of what I'm doing because it's at the end of the game and there's really nothing to be gained from getting more points. So I'm just kind of like passing it back and forth while I run out the clock. Thank you so much for the applause. I think my team deserved that, Katie. They did a good job. All right, so we're doing good, and we're doing good in the league. We just didn't do that tournament too well. All right, so let's save this again, and we're gonna leave. And we're gonna take the um, boat once again. We're going to take the boat over to Luca. Oh, I guess I can show what this shop sells. So after you get to the point where you have the airship, the shops sell some things, sell, sell totally different stuff. So you can see all of these have piercing and sensor. So you can get a piercing weapon for everyone um, from these guys. Also, you have these Tetra ones that have like three empty slots and then HP 5%. So that's pretty nice because you can customize those. Um, excuse me. With, uh, with a lot of different stuff. Alright, so we're going to Luca. We're not going back to Besaid. We were just there. I've been pulling all-nighters these days. Please let me rest. No worries, dude. Sorry. He's fallen asleep. <gasps> so he's sleepy too. Everybody's sleepy. Youngsters nowadays are so rowdy I can hardly hear myself think in town. I envy how laid back the Lucans are. They're always crazy about Blitzball, even when something terrible happens. Oh, well, yeah. Blitzball's their whole dealio. It's their whole thing. Is there anybody over here? What are they doing? He used to be a hard worker too, but now he's always like this. Once sin comes, everything we worked for will be lost. So why bother to work at all? I've got better ways to spend the time I have left. Oh, yeah, well, I can kind of understand. I mean, it's sad, but, you know, he's got a point. I'm doing a study on the animals of Spira. Oh, that's cool. Master Keenock has passed away, and Maester Kelk Ronso has resigned. Now that Maester Seymour's disappeared as well, all of Yevon is in chaos. Yeah, well, wait till you hear about what happened to Micah. <clears throat> I've heard the Albed attacked Bavel with a flying ship. Maester Seymour's wedding got cancelled and everything. Uh, well, I guess that kind of happened. It wasn't really the Albed, but like, I mean, I get why you think that. Well, what's going? What's up with you, my friend? It's not that I like riding ships, but this is the only way. The waves, winds, and chocobos cause the ship to rock, but it's better than the shoe puff. Last time, I on the shoe puff and got an earful from the high pillow. Oh no. Alright, so yes, we're going to go rest there, and that will take us to Luca. Alright, so just like with... Um, with uh, Kilika, where we just were, there's lots of good Blitzball players here too, but a lot of them are signed to the Luka goers, so. I tell her how dangerous it is out on the ocean, but she never listens. Hey, hey, out of my way, I'm trying to work here. Sis once got caught trying to sneak into that ferry. <gasps> I want to be a sailor and sail all over Spira when I grow up. Live your dreams, kid, live your dreams. Whenever guard duty gets boring, I try to remember how much the Crusaders need me right now. Okay, this is two, so I think one should be back here. I think this is what I, where I need to go. We'll talk to as many people as we can, but there's a couple things that I want to make sure I do here before the end of the stream. So, we're going to go down here. 
Um, this is Luke Lugor's locker room, no unauthorized entry. Okay, I went down the wrong way. I think it's the other one. There's a couple of things that we need to get out of the Orox locker room. So we're going to go down here into the Orox locker room. And here's all the Besaid Orox. Keepa, actually, I'm relieved to hear that Yuna's wedding is called off. I, I'll always be on Yuna's side. Appreciate that. Okay, this is the Jupiter crest. Okay, so this is Waka's crest. So we got that for him. No one's gonna believe that Yuna is a traitor, man. Yeah. Because she's not. I already knew about Yuna's lineage. I just kept my mouth shut in front of Waka. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jasu! Jasu. Uh, the temple has pardoned the Crusaders. It's a little too late for that, yeah. Mm, yeah, I would say it's a little bit too late for that. Okay. Now we're going to go back out. Because y'all probably saw this, but here's another sphere. This is another Jack sphere. So let's watch this one. Hey, Aaron, did you get that last match? Yeah, but I don't understand why you wanted me to. Didn't you say you have Blitzball in your Xanarkand? Not a sportsman, are ya? Working on your form? My form don't need no work. I'm the great Jack. It's for my kid. Your son plays Blitzball? Yeah, and he wants to beat his old man bad. Once I told him to give it up, he didn't speak to me for a week. Wonder what he's doing now. I hope he got bigger and put on some muscle. He's mad that you're not around anymore. That's what hey, he's doing. What's the big idea? Stop shooting. Hmm. All right. Let's go back out and actually talk to some people. Most of the warrior monks have withdrawn to Pavel, but some have taken a liking to Luca and remained here. The people of Luca will always stand behind a blitzer, even one condemned as a traitor. Well, that's good. Even though all the hardship, the people of Luca enjoy blitzball and carry on with their lives. Oh, how I admire their strength. The merchants of Luca have raised money to support the crusaders. Oh, that's good. Did you know that you're more popular than ever now that you're branded as a traitor? <laughs> ah, good to know, good to know. Once the Crusaders regroup in Luka, they will charge through the Meehan High Road and lay waste to all the fields. Oh, God. This is a big old mess. The stadium is surrounded by numerous ports laid out in a circular fashion, so it's impossible to get lost. Turn here to get to dock number one. All right, we'll go talk to the people around the docks, see what they got to say. That flying ship have the Albed finally brought out their big guns. I hope they will avenge the fallen crusaders for me. Don't you worry, my friend. We're going to avenge everybody. I wonders what that ship is. An ancient machina? Yes. So there's where our ship docks when we're in Luca. I will not ride the airship. I will get airsick easily. Oh, that sucks being an Albed that can't ride the airship. Come on. You come up here, lady. You can do it. I know you can jump. She just meowed at me from by my feet. This is a big river. You think Shoe Puff can make it here okay? It's it's an ocean. It's not a river. What do you guys to say? Is it true that the temple is in chaos? I don't believe that one bit. I shouldn't have put the ears back, y'all. She's interested again. The flying Machina ship is such a spectacle to look at. Yeah, it is a spectacle. Come here, lady. Why oh, don't you come back in my lap? There we go. Lay there. The ferry docked here is headed for Kilika Port. Nothing out of the ordinary, sir. <laughs> Are you trying to pretend? Okay, okay. All right, I'll take them back down, lady. You're just too entranced by the sparklies. I understand. With the warrior monks gone, it's up to us crusaders to defend Luca.
A watchman is posted at every dock for your safety. That's nice. Yeah, see, here's where a bunch of the Luca goers are. When their contracts run up, you can recruit them. Rumor has it that you guys are traitors. Some people sure talk rubbish. Ah. We're going to keep on blitzing no matter what becomes of the temple. Me too. Whether you're a traitor or not means nothing to in the sphere pool. Both the Ronso and the Albed teams play extra hard to help cheer their fans up. What in Spira's name is the temple thinking these days? You always seem to be walking around. When do you have time to practice? <gasps> All I do is walk around. Just walking around in circles, walking around in circles, walking around in circles, walk around in. Okay. A flying ship, huh? What will they think of next? Those Ronso players are massive. I feel like they're here to guard us instead of the other way around. I may be enjoying the game, but I'm keeping watch too. Everything's okay here. These little kids want to be police. I don't get it. Yeah, and here's a bunch of the um, Ronso players, so you can recruit some of them too. Maester Kelk Ronso was slain while defending the mountain. For Ronso, no better way to die. Wow. If Ronso fangs win, our brothers on the far plane will rejoice. Ronso shed no tear when brothers die. Pain and sorrow will never conquer mighty Ronso's spirit. They're so resilient. The Crusaders standing strong once more. We admire their fortitude. No longer can Temple help us. Must protect Spira on our own. Yep. Ronso are a pious race, but cannot trust Temple now. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Y'all gotta go back to doing your own thing, I guess. And let the people muck it all up. Dock number three. Okay. Warrior monks run away to Pavel. They abandon the people. Should hide their faces in shame. This dock is so quiet compared to the others. Okay. I guess dock number five is just a... Yeah, it's just a shipping dock. If guard duties taught me anything, it's the importance of checking every nook and cranny. Trust me, it pays off. Don't worry, we already got the chest from back in that corner here. Back when we were here, originally. Okay, now we're back at the beginning. Let's go this way. You, you're the tra that traitor. <laughs> Let him go, even the two of us won't be able to overpower him. But what about our duties to the temple? Our duties? We missed the ship to Pavel, they're not coming back for us. We're nothing now. Ah, thank you. We wear the armor of the temple, but it doesn't mean a thing. You're right, it doesn't. The city of Luca keeps on blitzing, even with all the turmoil going on these days. Even the faltering of Yevon Temple won't change that. I hear the mood in Guadalajara is just as gloomy as the far plain. I'm glad the Crusaders are in high spirits, but I'm just worried they'll come up with another reckless plan. Even as faith in the Yevon clergy dwindles, the temple remains silent, choosing not to issue any official statement on the matter. Well, that's suspicious. Many are protesting the cold and insensitive manner in which the temple has treated the people. There have even been reports of a mass exodus from Bavel by dejected temple followers. What do you- <laughs> They caught me. Can't you see I'm working here? You sure are a show off, aren't you? Yeah, sorry. If you want to be interviewed, show us your most outrageous gag, okay? The temple is in a state of chaos, but we must remain strong and keep faith in the teachings as we wait for the calm. Don't worry, you'll get the calm. Sin hasn't attacked lately. That's making me even more nervous. Having that airship would make traveling between Luca and Kilika a lot easier. Oh, I was trying to talk to the lady, not the top, but that was cute. Welcome. Okay, so here's the weapons that you can get here. They all have sleep touch, silent touch, and dark touch. And then we've got um, armors with like fireproof, lightning proof, waterproof, you see. It varies for each one. What's wrong with the temple these days? They're hopeless when we need them most. I can hear her destroying something, but I don't know what she's destroying. I don't know. I don't want to go back to Guadalajara because it reminds me of my brother. Yeah. I understand, lady. 
Even the temple makes mistakes. The monks are only human after all. Yeah, but this different. This wasn't just a mistake. This was calculated. The defeated Albed are now staying at different travel agencies. Oh yeah, because there is no more home. There's a flying ship in the port. That's Forbidden Machina, isn't it? Well, too bad, so sad. Not all of the Crusaders are armed well. They seem inferior to the warrior monks. Yeah, they probably are. They're not as well funded. My husband likes the warrior monks, but I simply can't bear them. <gasps> well, yeah. I think you probably got the right take there, lady. I wonder how the wedding was. I haven't heard anything from the temple yet. Well, that's because the wedding did not happen. There's a flying... Oh, I was trying to talk to you. Luca is a free city. The fiends could have snuck in from anywhere. Uh, I don't think they snuck in. I think they were called in. Um, I don't know much about religion, but there's something weird about the temple. The warrior monks left Luca without a word. Who would they think they are? Or who do they think they are? Hooray, with the crusaders back, I feel like we could take on two sins. Oh god, please don't give me two sins. Alright, so I want to go in here... I don't know if this is going to work because I didn't win that tournament. I, if I had won the tournament, I know this would work. But you're a good player but still need some work. Okay. If you want to get your hands on that thing, you'll have to win more games. Yeah, I thought so. Where's the save point? Let's go up here. The Crusaders are guarding the stadium. If any fiends appear, we'll destroy them even if it means our lives. Oh, here's another chest I missed before. Thousand gil, sweet. The youth of Luca are flocking to the Crusaders in droves. Lord Meehan would be proud. There are so many people fleeing Bevel. They say it's utter, utter chaos over there. Okay, there should be a save point right up here. Alright. Let's see. If I do this, is there a tournament? There's no more. No tournament. Okay. We're gonna do... Let's do one more league game, and then we'll call this call stream. Okay. So this will be our third... Oh no, there's the tournament. Oh, and Attack Reels is back. Ah! Bless. Okay. Next stream. We're going to open up with a tournament again, and we're going to get first place this time. Get those dang attack reels. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, and then we're, of course, going to do some more monster catching and stuff. But I thought it wasn't going to give me another tournament until I did another league game. Okay. So we've done two league games so far, and then we lost a tournament. We're going to do another tournament, and we're going to win this next one. But right now we're going to save. Okie dokie. We're gonna save and let's find somebody to raid, y'all. While we listen to this fun music. Who is online? Who is online? Okay. Oh, our friend um Pugzoomies is on and they're playing um what are they playing? Oh, Breath of the Wild! Okay, let me just get through the ad and we're gonna raid Pugzoomies. No, we only raided them one other time. Um, so I don't think you have either. They're cool, though. Um, and they've, they've been in this stream before, too. Twitch ads are so long, y'all. <laughs> They're so long. Okay. Okay, there we go. And, uh, and they're playing and all that good stuff. Okay, wonderful. Alright. So, where to find me? You guys know how this works. I do things the same way every other content creator does. Here's all my socials. Um, I stream on Thursdays at 6.30. I stream on Saturdays at noon. Uh, my next stream on Saturday is going to be me and Landon talking about group roleplay applications. We're going to be playing some more of our Sims 2 Legacy. Landon got pregnant again in the Legacy, so we'll see if she has the baby next stream. I think she, I think she probably will. Okay. Also, uh, next artistic license, so next Thursday stream is going to be more Final Fantasy X. Um, and also, I have a show on YouTube, Spare Room, Every Wednesday at 2 p.m. is when that goes up, or every other Wednesday at 2 p.m. So there was an episode yesterday, 
there'll be an episode again in two weeks. All right. Um, okay. We talked about that. Okay. We did everything. Let's do, let's do the raid. All right, guys, we're going to go raid pug zoomies. They're playing breath of the wild. It's a really great game. If you never play breath of the wild, what are you, what are you waiting for? Like, it's awesome. Um, and of course, don't forget as always to make it a great day. All right. Have fun y'all. Bye.